Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to one of these other videos where I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Tom Hanks, Supermaster, Sacramento, California, IA, what's up? Um, so, I've already seen this video and I'm not gonna put it on screen because there is a copyrighted music content on these videos. So, I'll actually instead just put it a link down in the description box for you guys to go and watch it yourself. But on this video, I'm just going to be putting up some pictures of the new 2022 Subaru WRX sports wagon that will be available to only Australia next year, which I'm very, very jelly about. So let's talk about the physical features. There hasn't been that much release. I think the interior, um, they're still kind of quiet about it, but I think the assumption is that it's going to have uh, the global architecture and pretty much the same WRX, you know, interior stuff, seating and whatnot. So the front fascia, Everything looks very Lavorg like. And if you guys aren't familiar with the Lavorg is, the little <laughs> Lavorg is essentially a uh, Subaru Frankenstein vehicle that is only available in Japan, to my knowledge. And I'm not sure if it's in Europe and Australia and such. But the Lavorg is a really, really cool vehicle. I saw it back in 2018 when I went to uh, Japan to visit the Fan Bam, and then I got to visit uh, the Subaru HQ, and I got to see it in person. I was like, what the heck is this? The Lavorg is an amazing car, it's very, very cozy, looks very, very good quality. Definitely a family car type of thing. So anyway, side tangent. Um, the front looks cool. I, I like it. It looks very similar to a Legacy. And uh, the side of this vehicle kind of reminds me a little bit of a an Impreza hatchback. And the rear kind of looks like a combination between the hatchback, but along with the Outback butt. So in stock form, it looks kind of tamed and very meh, but you know, of course this is a WRX. And so I'm sure that if I were able to get my hands on one of this, I would definitely lower it, put new aftermarket wheels on it, under spoiler kit and call it a day. And it'll look fabulous. And I feel like I'm not sure what's I'm not sure what what Subaru is doing. I, I don't know if there is a disconnect between Subaru of Japan, Subaru of uh, America, and Subaru of Australia. But come on, guys, you got to communicate. I want one of these really, really badly, and this is actually what I wanted several years ago when I was this chunky boy, and I had a 2012 Subaru Impreza hatchback 2.0i CBT. Now, I hate bringing that up over and over again, but that car was slower than dirt, okay? Not to put Subaru down, and you know, of course, everyone are, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, and everyone has their own likes and like, dislikes, but I really wanted a WRX, and so of course, I, uh, I had a lot of buyer's remorse when I got this vehicle because I, uh, I felt like I settled. But this vehicle was stated to have fuel economy of 27 in the city and 36 freeway and my entire ownership of that Impreza hatchback 2.0i I have never gone past 25 even when I babied it I have never gone past it and I felt like I was lied to and I have a really good college friend who I warned him not to get one and he wanted one so I helped him you know because I was a Subaru ambassador and got him into one and he felt the same way. He felt like he was lied to. Like the fuel economy wasn't like what they've stated it to be. And so another thing too is that the FB20 motor on that on that Impreza is very slow and sluggish. And I felt like there were many times entering the freeway, uh, I felt like I was a danger to other people. I was very scared of being hit. And so that was a genuine concern that I had owning that vehicle because it was very, very underpowered. And I felt like even Priuses and Honda Civics and Toyota Corollas were, were faster than that car. And so when I got rid of the car, side tangent, I'm so sorry, side tangent, when I got rid of the car and it ultimately eventually got into the WRX, the drivetrain of the WRX and the STI, everything like that, I wished it was available within a wagon or a hatchback. I wish that I was able to you know, transfer the WRX drivetrain and everything, the power plant, everything over to that Impreza. 
And so, of course, now we have something extremely similar to that. And that's something that I personally want. And I'm sure that there's many of you guys that want want that, too. And so, you know, back to the whole fuel economy thing, the 2018 Subaru WRX that I got when I had it for the first year, I, I didn't tinker around with it. I didn't modify it. It was completely bone stock engine wise. It made significantly better fuel economy, which I was just so confused about because it was rated um, it was a 21, 28. And yet this vehicle, I was averaging 30 on the freeway for you know, like long durations of drives from North Northern California down to Southern California. And even in the city, I was averaging like 27, which is crazy. And so I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the CVT. I'm, I'm not sure if it's because it was a man, uh, the, my WX was a manual and uh, sorry, and the Impreza was a CVT. I don't know what, what, what the main factor was but in a wrx i had better fuel economy and so i want this i really really want this and um i feel like this might be a competition to the 2022 subaru wrx the the, the new sedan i'm not sure what's going on but i i guess i just want to bring it to your attention today that uh, I kind of want one of this. Uh, it looks cool. This is exactly what I've always wanted. And in my very biased favorite Subaru color, World Rally Blue. So, yeah. What do you guys think? I, I just feel like it's very difficult to be uh, a car enthusiast now. It's I feel like the options are getting lesser and lesser and cars are becoming very very similar like build wise um just production style and cues and um there's no uniqueness to it anymore and uh, i think being in the uh, wx ownership for the past four years almost four years now i realize what type of car enthusiast that i am and uh you know, I'm not a track boy. I don't like drift. I love mountain cruises, but I think I like the outdoor life. And of course, I, I don't want to go down the, the SUV route. I, I love wagons and hatchbacks. So I really want one of this. Um, I think if this was brought here to the States, I will definitely hands down snag me one of these, even if it's an NWRX. Um, so long as it has six speed a six speed manual as long as it is on the fa20 motor or F, even the fa24 and it's turbocharged i, I strongly dislike that uh, fb20 motor um the the sister engine that was in other cars that subaru offers so i'm very i don't know just wanted to bring to, bring it to your attention just wanted to, to create the open dialogue and the open discussion but really really well <laughs> so what are your thoughts guys um tell me down below comment um i would love to hear your opinion i'm sure that there's many of you that also maybe feel the same way as me maybe you're looking forward to a wagon of some sort too or even a hatchback so if you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up if not thumbs down otherwise i will see you guys in the next video peace out